Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and film my 2019 handbag collection. Um, I, I have a lot of handbags and they're not really fitting in the frame right here. Um, so I just wanted to give you an overview of what I have and then I will go into each bag in detail. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about, you know, how I got each bag or anything like that, but um, I will link the videos about each individual bag below. So starting off with larger totes, um, this is my Coach Reversible Tote. This is an outlet tote, which is a great dupe for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's made out of a coated canvas with a treated leather handle. Um, you have your Coach hang tag here, which I got hot stamped with uh, three stars. Um, this bag does have pretty sharp corners, so that's a kind of a con of this bag is that I do feel like over time those are going to wear out and you can already start to see a bit of that coating on the canvas starting to crack. But this is a really comfortable bag. The coated canvas is super durable. The straps, once they had some time to break in, became very comfortable. So I do really like this as a work bag. I'm just a little worried on how it's going to wear over time. Keeping with uh, large totes, this is my Longchamp Large Le Playage Tote. I got this off of Poshmark pre-loved um, because I was a little bit skeptical about paying more than $100 for a nylon bag um, with just leather trim that has really known issues with corner wear. Um, so I did get this off of Poshmark for a really good deal. I think it was under $30 or $40, so really great. Um, I do love this bag. I think it is a great size. It fits a ton. Um, and the straps are actually really comfortable, which I was surprised because I thought this would, this like rolled leather would be really hard and uncomfortable, but it's just not. It's a great bag. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I really like the size of this bag and the comfort of this bag. I still think that if I bought more in different colors, which I am kind of scoping out on Poshmark, I would buy them pre-owned because I don't necessarily still don't want to buy a bag with kind of known corner wear issues for more than $100. Next up is this Michael Kors large Whitney tote with a quilting pattern. Um, this is a really, really pretty pattern. I love this bag. The look of this bag, it looks super professional and understated. There is a bit of branding here that you can't necessarily hide, um, but I do think this looks like a very sleek, um, professional bag. I will say that there are two cons to this bag, kind of two main cons. One is that the corners, or not the corners, the shape of the bag goes from wide to very narrow, which really limits the amount of stuff you can put in this bag. It does fit my laptop in a sleeve, but once I start to put more bulky things in there, like a water bottle or a thermos, it gets really tight really quickly. I cannot use a bag organizer with this bag because it just takes up way too much room. But this is a pretty structured bag, like it has feet, it has another piece of leather here holding it together, so that's not necessarily a problem, but this is a much tighter squeeze than, for example, my Longchamp tote. One thing I've noticed about this bag as I was pulling it out for uh, this video is that the strap on the back, where did it go, is starting to crack right there. You can start to see that. Um, so this bag is less than a year old. I did buy it at Macy's, so I am going to try to contact Michael Kors to see if they can do some kind of warranty repair on this because that crack just seems like it's going to get uh, worse very quickly, especially if I carry this fully loaded. Next up is this Michael Kors Carson Carryall Tote. I am selling this on my Poshmark. I just released a video on this as well. Um, I really like this bag. I think it's super understated, very pretty, especially if you take this charm off. Really, there's just no large branding on it at all. You just have this Michael Kors here on the turn lock that's hardly even visible. Uh, nice shiny pebbled leather. It's very light for an all leather bag, but honestly, I just don't use it enough. Um, it is one of my more expensive bags. It's, I didn't buy it pre-owned or anything. I bought it for um, around $130, $140 at Macy's. Um, so I do think that this one just has to go because I spent so much on it and don't really use it that much. And I think I like my other totes a little bit better. So next up is this Coach Kelsey Satchel. So this is an outlet bag from Coach. Um, they sell, I think they still sell this bag. I got this pre-owned off of Poshmark for a really great deal. I really, really like this bag. I think partially the reason I like it is because I got it for such a good price. I don't really feel bad about like throwing it around and like really just kind of not babying it at all. It's a really, it's a good size bag. So it fits a Nalgene water bottle. It fits all of my SLGs. I do use an organizer in here, which is the same organizer that I showed for my um, small Longchamp tote, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but I really like this bag. I am glad I got it for, again, such a great deal on Poshmark pre-loved um, because it is, 
for what it is, it sells at the outlet for like, I think 80 or $90 usually. And so for what it is, I think it might be um, a little overpriced, but given that I got it for less than 30, I believe, um, I, I really like this bag. Next up is this Longchamp Small Le Playage Tote. Uh, I really like the small size of this bag as a handbag. I take this um, on trips with us. It folds up very nicely to just be shoved into my backpack before you board a plane or anything like that so that I only have the um, two carry-on items that you're allotted by an airline. I use an organizer in here like I showed you in the Kelsey satchel, um, but I really like this bag. Again, I got it pre-owned off of Poshmark because I didn't necessarily want to pay so much money for a nylon bag, and I do love that I got it for such a good deal. I throw this bag around, I really just don't baby it at all, and as a travel bag, that's really what I wanted, something that I just didn't have to worry about at all. So next up is this Old Navy um, nylon bag. This is what I used to use as my travel bag before I got the Longchamp Small Tote. It is a nylon bag with faux leather trim. I will say that the nylon on this bag actually feels a lot nicer to me than the nylon on the Longchamp bag. I don't know um, if that means it's higher quality or if it's just, I don't know, made more soft or something, but it does feel thicker. It feels more durable. The bottom of the bag has like a piece of plastic or something in it that keeps its shape. Um, so it is more structured than the Longchamp bag. It came with a crossbody strap, which is nice. Um, so you can use this crossbody if you want to, and you do have an outer pocket, which is again, not something you really have on the Longchamp bags. Because I got the Longchamp bag, I am selling this one on my Poshmark right now, um, but I do think this is a really, really great budget alternative if you want a nylon travel bag, something that's carefree and uh, weather resistant, but you don't want to pay Longchamp prices or you're not comfortable with a pre-owned bag. Next up is this Fossil Kinley crossbody bag. I really like this bag. Um, I got this a while ago at this point, actually from eBay. Um, it is a leather bag with a leather flap here, and then this is like a coated canvas le non-leather detail. The strap has material on the back, and then is leather on the front, so it is um, a bit unique of a strap, and probably that is that was like a cost-saving measure by Fossil more than anything else, but it does make it kind of comfortable um, to have like that soft backing on the strap, especially when I'm wearing like a sleeveless shirt or the strap is basically directly touching my skin. This bag has a lot of organization, big open pocket, but also a bunch of pockets on the outside to put your phone, your keys, your wallet, and um, it is really just a very useful and utilitarian bag. Sticking with Fossil, this is the uh, Fossil Fiona crossbody. This again is an all leather bag. It's a purple uh, kind of burgundy leather color with a leather strap. Um, this bag is kind of a bag I feel like everyone just needs a bag like this in their collection. This is just a easy crossbody bag with very minimal branding and even like the branding it has it's like fossil so it's not like you're carrying around a Louis Vuitton or really flashy bag. Um, this is a bag I often use when I w just want a bag that is not too flashy, um, has enough space for just my SLGs and is super light and comfortable. I really like this bag. I am selling it because of the next bag that I'm showing you um, but I do think that this is a super useful bag of very good shape. This next bag is another Poshmark purchase. This is a vintage Gucci crossbody bag. Um, this is in the coated canvas, very durable. Um, it has beautiful hardware. It was in really great shape when I got it. I did clean it out, which I posted a video of um, because the interior was flaking a bit. And this has kind of become my uh, go-to like Aaron's bag, basically everything I said that I used that fossil bag for before. After I got this bag, that's what I tend to use this one for. It fits my SLGs, it fits a bit of um, my catch-all items, so it is a little bit bigger. Um, it's a very comfortable bag. And there are quite a few of these for sale on Poshmark. I can link some below, so if you're interested. I got this one for $140, and I do think I got a great deal on it. Next is this Michael Kors Vivian bag. Now, I just shot a one-year updated review of this bag. It does have this beautiful rose detail with the quilting. You have the beautiful gold hardware and um, more quilting on the back. You have your chain strap. I think this bag is a great bag for both everyday wear if you want something a little fancier, a little bit more, um, more I guess more flashy, uh, but it's also a great bag for like an evening bag uh, if you want to go to a cocktail party or a fancier event. I really like this bag. It's one of my more pricey bags, so I am, I feel a little guilty about keeping it given how little I use it because it is kind of fancier and flashier, but um, I do think it's a gorgeous bag. 
Next is my vintage coach court bag. This is in the uh, beautiful full grain leather with your brass hardware. I got this off of Craigslist from a um, nice um, older lady who was selling it. I, you know, did some leather uh, conditioning, shined up the brass hardware, and now it's basically good to go. Really like this bag. It's very comfortable. Um, it's a good size. I will say it is a bit heavier because of how much leather really they used in this bag, but that is just kind of a sign of quality in my opinion. Gorgeous bag. This is obviously the vintage version of the Coach uh, Cassie, um, which is a very popular bag right now, but it doesn't have any of that glazing that the Cassie has, and the Cassie's been having some problems with glazing, um, so you do have just this rolled leather on the side instead of glazing. And then last but not least is this cute little bag. I got this um, in ooh, 2014 when I went to Peru as like a just a fun trip. I got this from one of the local um, vendors in, in a market in Cusco. It's a very cute bag, very, very small. Um, like this is the size of my hand, so it doesn't really fit a ton. Um, I mostly keep this as a souvenir at this point. I don't really use it at all, but this would be a super cute festival bag if you're someone who goes to like music festivals or something like that. But that's just not something I do. Uh, so that is uh, why I don't really use it that much. But of course, I'm going to keep it because of uh, it's a good memory. So that was basically all of my handbags. Um, just to give you a view <laughs> of what we have here, we have all of the handbags just sitting out kind of on our dining table. So now I'm going to put those all away. Um, but yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, um, and I will see you next time. Bye.